Hey folks, this is Kyle Keel with a new training video for you. Uh, you're going to see a lot of training on this uh, on this video. You're going to see me do some floor pressing, which I did on Monday. You're going to see me do some squatting, which I did on Tuesday. You're going to see me mess around with some different squat stances, and you're going to see me do a little bit of assistance work at the end of this video. But um, to start with the floor pressing, I did 245 for four sets of six. That's 24 total repetitions at around 80%. But these are pretty high RPE sets. I'd say they're they're mostly between an eight and maybe even a nine, though nine might be pushing it a little bit. So the uh, the exertion has been ramped up on my floor pressing, which is exactly what I wanted. I took a few weeks just to try and accumulate volume with some pretty low RPE sets in the 70 to 75 percent range, and now I'm going to start doing some more higher exertion work. Um, on this day, I had Janice there to spot for me, which was really great. Um, uh, we basically train together as training partners, even though we, we don't necessarily have the same training protocol or the same training methodology. We don't, we don't go in and do exactly the same things, but, um, you know, it's always nice to have good training partners around you, and, uh, my philosophy and my, um, my, uh, my belief with regards to, to being a good training partner is you have to put into it what you expect to get out of it, and, uh, um, uh, nobody wants to train with somebody who who uh, who wants something, who wants something from you, but isn't willing to uh, to put forth effort to uh, to help and support you as well. And and so it's nice to have people like like her around um, who are supportive of me. That's what I'm always looking for in training partners. I'm looking for somebody who's who's willing to be supportive, who's willing to uh, to 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 give you something in addition to ask for something in return. So. Um, so that was really great. She wasn't really even training on that day. She just came by to, to help me with my stuff, and and uh, and that helps a lot. You know, it makes a big difference to have people who are willing to take time out of their day just to help you train. And I know a lot a lot of people don't have that, but um, I feel pretty fortunate that I do. Uh, so did some squatting. Um, uh, this is 315 for seven. This felt pretty good. Uh, looking at it from this angle, the uh, the bar looks pretty good. But then I ended up filming from the side, and um, found that uh, well that okay that rep didn't look good, but um, but found that just my my right side is really collapsing and coming forward, and it's it's doing so pretty egregiously, um, worse than I had it uh, in the training cycle leading up to the last meet I did. Um, it's something that I was able to self correct by squatting in front of a mirror, and normally that's not something that I. I'd recommend, I'd recommend uh, not uh, fixing technical mistakes by, by sight, but rather by feel. But um, I just don't have a good feel of it right now. And uh, I think the best thing for me to do is to get back squatting in front of a mirror for a little while. Try to um, visualize what having an even bar looks like without my right side collapsing. And then try to get a sense for how that feels. And try to apply that into uh, the later stages of my training. So... It's something that I do need to work on because it looks pretty bad, and uh, to be honest, the the, the videos here are are, uh, are pretty rough looking, <laughs> the squat sets. But uh, I'm gonna show them anyway because I took them and and uh, you know I'm not not one to hide my flaws. Sometimes this is a very humbling experience posting your your training, um, but uh, I'm gonna post it because you know what I need to face it, and and so I'll I'll put it up there for everybody else to see. Um, that was 375 for a set of three. I did 375 for two sets of three. 375 is technically a little over 90% of my one rep max with my uh, unwrap squat, but um, but to be perfectly honest, my one rep max might be a little bit higher than that. It's just hard for me to tell because once I hit this range, the high 300 pounds, I just still really struggle coming out of the hole, and that's my limiting factor. And so my rep max is on my squat far exceed my one rep max. I've done 365 for eight, I've done 390 for five, but the most I've ever squatted without knee wraps is 405. And when I squatted 405 without knee wraps, it wasn't the easiest squat in the world. Um, so uh, I ran small up, when I ran small up, I ran it with a 430 projected max and it was just fine. But again, um, my, uh, my, my one rep max seems to be not in keeping with my rep maxes. And uh, 
and that's just a, a weakness coming out of the hole that I have to continue to address. I've made strides on it, I've, uh, I've developed my squat, but I have to continue to work on it. Uh, this is 345 for 5, I did one sort of back off set, and the first rep just felt, uh, just pr felt pretty rough, so I'm still going to acclimate to the increased intensity. Um, this is my first time over, I think, about 350 squatting since the meet. And, uh, and so it's going to take me some time to reacclimate to this amount of work. Um, after going through this, I decided not to do my last set. I decided instead to just spend a little time working on technique. Did some technique work with the narrow stance and still didn't like how it looked. So I ended up widening my stance. And you're going to see me do some squats for basically the first time in forever with a normal stance. And I wanted to see if this sort of uh, asymmetry was being caused by... Um, was being caused by my uh, my stance, or if it was just something that 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 I was doing that I was that was going to manifest itself regardless of stance. And you can still see that the bar isn't uh, perfectly even; that that right side is coming forward a little bit. It likes to travel forward, and I like to torque my torso. It seems like um, when I'm squatting, so that the right side leads the left, but uh, I'm not dipping on that side. Um, I shot this from three different angles. It's just 185 for a set of five, so I, I certainly didn't do much with it, but I was just messing around with sort of a normal shoulder with stance. Um, uh, I hate to say it, but technically this, this certainly looks a lot better than, uh, <laughs> than, than, my, than my close, than my narrow stance squat. It looks, uh, I think, technically a lot stronger. There are still things that I could definitely improve upon here. Um, and uh, and I might continue to work on it because I might start doing this uh, for this for this uh, for this second mesocycle. I'm going to be squatting three times a week, and uh, that third session is just going to be sort of an abbreviated session uh, after deadlifting. And um, I might just start messing around with uh, some normal stance squatting on that day. Um, it feels better to me. It feels a lot more 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 comfortable. Um, Additionally, it, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother the issues that I've been dealing with, like like squatting with a narrow stance does. And uh, even with light weights, I felt like I was a little bit more explosive with it than with the narrow stance. Now, I still don't think I'm going to be stronger with this stance than with my narrow stance. I think that that's still my strongest stance. Um, but uh, I'm going to play around with it for a little bit. So um, there are things I have to work on with it, but I think that's to be expected based on how how much of it I've done recently, which has been zero in the last uh, couple of years. Um, I did some bodyweight glute ham raises. I, I very rarely film my assistance work, but I figured for myself I would film these. Um, not uh, thrilled with my extension at the top. I feel like I could really push back a little bit more, but otherwise these are pretty technically sound. I do have it set a little high, so I could always try to challenge myself by bringing it lower, but I'm just now, after my calf tear, I'm just now reincorporating these into my training. So um, I wanted to start off slow, four sets of 20. And uh, and so, yep, that's basically it. Anyway, keep checking in. I will have more videos for you very soon.